Kolo, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Shalom Tanasa David, the one third of the Church of the Saints, 144,000, the elect, and the men and women and children part of one third are part of the elect. Basically, this militia thing is, uh, is, is in the air, man. You know, it's an atmosphere. It's so Arizona's veteran militias are backing up Trump. Because there's going to be a sedition among men. It's going to be all hell breaking loose. Uh, Second Ezra 15 and is biblical. Second Ezra 15 and 14. Woe to the world and to them that dwell therein. For the sword and the destruction draw of nigh. One people shall stand up to fight against another. You hear that? For the sword and the destruction draw of nigh. And one people shall stand up to fight against another. And swords in their hand. For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. And they, they're talking about going to to White House. They, they're talking about going to the White House, man. Straight up, if Hillary wins, to take her ass out. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able to martial law. For because of their pride, the city shall be, shall be troubled. The houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. Men are going to be afraid, man. It's going to be so bad these days. And they're training. Are you niggas are telling the Americans popping bottles and being stupid niggas? These militiamen, they're training, boy. They're training. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. Matthew 24. Famine, pestilence, earthquakes, food riots, race riots, civil war, unrest. All right? That's the, that's the spirit that's in the air. We're going to play this clip. Better wake the fuck up, man. Take things serious. The Arizona Heart Desert. Bent. <laughs> Are you gonna be bent? Time for a bit of target practice. There you go. Alan is an Iraq war veteran. It looks like he's never left the combat zone. So I carry uh, five magazines on this. One, two, three, four, hey, five. That's Esau. Esau's blessing is the sword, man. He loves his guns. He loves his. He loves his guns, man. He loves his machine guns. That's Esau for you, man. For my AR. Alan helped launch veterans on patrol. They help homeless war veterans and are supported by armed, self-styled patriot groups. I'm training for uh, a type of event that uh, I will be wearing this 24-7, you know. He's preparing for all kinds of disasters, including, he says, the prospect of Hillary Clinton becoming president. Hillary wants to do everything that she humanly can to get rid of firearms. When you take away guns from law-abiding citizens, you make it so that people that illegally get guns have free range on the populace. Fears of a government conspiracy to take away guns on your belt. views once seen as fringe are now at the Ooh, forefront in the presidential campaign. Alan and his friend Montana run through synchronized military Fire. drills. They're ready to defend their communities by whatever means necessary. If somebody's trying to start a fight or attack me, then this gives them a pretty good reason to rethink their life's choices. The two men used to work as private security contractors along this border with Mexico, so have seen the problems of drugs and illegal immigration firsthand. This is Mexico on your right, U.S. on your left. There is no more fence, there is nothing. There is just trees and bush. The handful of guards operating here are unable to cope with tens of thousands of people crossing illegally from Mexico each year. Many are searching for jobs, but some work for the cartels. It's crazy to call them aliens, but this is Mexican land. This is their land. It's Azteca land, man. They're going to call them aliens. <laughs> Devils, man. Take the matters into their own hands, detaining Mexicans at gunpoint. It's here that Trump wants to build his wall. I will vote for Trump because of the fact that he is going to do something about this border. He sees the you problem. Believe him. I see Trump, yes, opening his mouth and saying some things. Which he's set up by the elites anyway, man. Trump just said what he's doing, what he's doing, because at least tell him to do that. To get to get the uh, that, that racial tension built up back in the air. He's just set up anyway, man. To some people, might constitute as uh, bigotry and constitute as racism. I see it as he wants to shed light on a problem that a lot of people are choosing not to look at. They're going to look up from their 
cappuccino inside a coffee shop in the middle of New York City and say, well, I, I don't see anything. They must not know what they're talking about. It doesn't affect them. From the border, the trail of undocumented people and drugs leads to Tucson. Brutal Mexican drugs cartels have put down roots across this city. Gang crime and drugs linked violence leaves residents feeling scared and vulnerable. Allen's organization, Veterans on Patrol, run this camp for homeless vets. You talk about the drugs coming in. Which the most I gonna deal with them cartels. But what about Esau's bringing in the drugs? Hmm? Boatloads through the airplanes, through the navy ships. Black Sox and the Americans don't own that. What about Esau bringing the drugs? The Rothschilds, the elites, bringing in the drugs, creating diseases, spraying germ warfare, biological warfare, neurotoxic sprays, GMOs, food. That's war. You see? But these Rothschilds don't show their face, but they're being exposed within the last days. There's no excuse for stupidity, man. You got this internet. At least one in ten adults in Tucson are former soldiers. Out there in the streets, you don't get treated right. Or they spit on them, called every name in the book. Maybe kill them. These men fought for America. And even in veterans, they're going to rise up against Esau. They're going to rise up against their own kind. The same be divided against Satan, how can this kingdom stand? They're going to rule up in, in the White House. And it's going to be an armed revolution, man. Scriptures talk about that man that suffers poverty. This country don't give a fuck about their vets. So when all hell breaks loose, man, it's going to be bloody. It's going to be real bloody. A lot of stress and depression. There's more homelessness now than the Great Depression. All hell's about to break loose, man. A little woman. Continuing this topic later. Call all you have by Shem Yahushai. Shalom to the house of David. 144,000 elect men, women, and children are part of the elect. Shalom. Stay strong. Shalom.